these are the ingredients you'll be needing. First up, we have some spring onions, then about a cup of shredded carrots, mushrooms, I have four to five, but if you don't like mushrooms, you don't need to have, have them at all, um, about half a bell pepper, half of a cabbage, and then for our wet ingredients, we're gonna have some soy sauce, some distilled vinegar, um, salt, I'm using pink Himalayan salt, you can use regular salt, it doesn't matter, and then some black pepper. And then of course for the pastry, the shell of the spring roll, we're just using this store-bought um, spring roll pastry. Here we have all our ingredients now that they've been cut. Our cabbage, we needed two plates for this. It might look like a lot right now, but once we start cooking it, it'll like dehydrate so it won't be that much. Um, and then our spring onions, and then our shredded carrots, we didn't have to cut them. Um, then our bell pepper, and then mushrooms one stage. So I'm just gonna set the burner to a medium heat. And now I'm going to be adding only the mushrooms. You can just put them in. Once you see it's starting to simmer, just go in with your spatula and spoon, just mix it in a little bit. We're gonna do this about every five minutes. Um, until you start to see the change in color of the mushroom, it should look like after about 15 minutes. You should see the water um, at the bottom of the pan and the mushroom should be like a brown color. Just place them back into your plate. I'm going to put the carrots and the cabbage into the same pan. Note that there is only half of the cabbage in here. The rest is still right here in our plate and we're going to use that at the end. After mixing that for about five minutes on high heat, we are going to add in the bell peppers. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. Make sure you pour it towards the edge of the pan so we can mix our wet ingredients before we mix it into everything else. And now you're just going to add one teaspoon of white vinegar. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan, but you can use regular. Next, we're going to add in some black pepper. Add as much as you like. And now we're just gonna mix. So you're gonna mix it slowly in the edges of the pan, and then gradually mix everything together, and you'll have a homogenous mixture. So now we're gonna add the last bit of our cabbage into our mixture. Just dump it all in. And mix it all up. And now we're just gonna put in one teaspoon of sugar. I forgot to mention this earlier, but you just do that after you've mixed all of the other ingredients in. Um, this is our second to last step. We're just adding the spring onion that we cut up earlier. And then of course, our mushrooms. Now mix for the final product. This is what your mixture should look like after everything has been added and it's been on high heat for about five minutes. Um, we're just gonna let it uh, mix for a couple more minutes and leave it here to cool before we start adding it to our spring roll. Okay, now that we're done cooking all of our ingredients, we're at the final stage. We're just gonna put everything into this shell and make the spring roll. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the exact roll. So first I'm just gonna take a tablespoon of our filling and just place it towards the bottom half. Oh, I forgot to say that this is in a diamond shape so this corner should be pointing towards you. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this corner, fold it over once, right here, and then you're going to tuck in here and roll over really tightly right there. So now that you have like these two little wings popping out, you're going to take some water, it's going to act like our glue, take some on the edges and just spread it a little bit, same to the other side, just spread it. We're going to act like our glue. And then you're just going to take one side here and just fold it across like that. 
take, do the same with the other side. Now you have like this little envelope shape. You're just gonna tuck it in and make sure you do it very tightly so nothing falls out. And there's your finished product. To fry the spring rolls, you're going to gently slide them into a pan with filled with oil at medium heat. After about frying for 5 minutes on each side, you should see them turn this golden brown color and that's when you'll know it's ready. Enjoy!